What's up everybody, this is your host Manik back with yet another video and in this one, well let's have a close look at this new update based on Oxynos 11 for the OnePlus Nord 2 and please don't expect me to pronounce the name of this one and I'm going to refer this one as 11.3.8n for now. Anyways let's have a look at some of the new features that we get with this one and the issues that have been fixed with this update. So without further delay, let's get into it. But before that, make sure you tap on that subscribe button to stay notified about the latest videos from this channel. Now to get this update on your device, well there is only one way now, that is to check in the system updates. And there you will see that an OS update is available, so download and install it like you always do. And if you don't see it, well then just wait as you cannot sideload inside the system updater application anymore. Coming to the changelog now, and first up we have the August 21 security patch. Well that too on the last day of August, but that's alright. Apart from that, we have some bug fixes here and there, like with face unlock, in case you faced some issues in the past, and apart from that, the usual system improved stability line is there too. Now before we come to the performance and gaming part, here are the benchmark scores after this update. So the OnePlus Nord 2 used to score around 6 lakh points on Antutu 2 with the last version, and with this update, the score is back to around 6 lakh 60,000. Similarly on Geekbench, the device now scores 872 in single core and 3068 in the multi-core score. And all of these tests were done on high performance mode as usual. Now coming to the overall performance and gaming and the general usage. So I did not face any issues in a day that I tried this one. And the SoC is powerful enough to handle anything. And it did decently for now. Also I did the BGMI test after this update. And we do have a couple of new features too for gaming. First up we have the new touch settings now and in that option, you can control your touch sensitivity and touch handedness, with which you can basically control the response time and make the screen a bit more responsive. Also I felt that the touch sampling rate on the OnePlus Nord 2 is somewhat on the lower side and this should help a bit in improving that. And of course I tried this one and felt some difference and I could feel it specially during BGMI sessions with close combat, so that's a good feature to have nonetheless. Apart from that you can also block your 3 finger screenshots and that mis touch prevention feature is also in this option now, which basically locks your status bar. Also I could see this lightning start option in games application and that will basically keep your games in memory so that they can be launched faster. Though I did not observe that much difference, so no worries there I guess. We also get a new games filter option and that will basically add some filters to the game to make it more vibrant. Though the Indian version of PUBG, that is BGMI, is still not supported on this yet. But you can use the global version and try it out, which I simply did not because I am lazy. If I talk about the gaming performance in general, till now it has been fine for the most part. But I do feel that the CPU temperature definitely goes on the higher side than expected. And 40 plus degrees is what we get after 1-2 radium matches. And it touches around 44 degrees in classic games with occasional frame drops to be seen here and there. So I would say it's decent, but it can still use some work. And by the way, I play all the games on high performance mode, as I find the touch delay to be on the higher side without it. Now if I talk about the battery life, well it's too early to judge, but I got the usual 6-7 to seven hours without gaming, and rest it varies on how much you play games and what apps you use. So here I did not see much of a difference, and the charging time remains unchanged for now. The camera application has also been updated to the version 3.3 and here are some fixes but still there is no 1080p 60fps option in the front facing camera or even 4k 30fps which is a bummer. 11 base update for the OnePlus Nord 2. Make sure to tap on that subscribe button and like this video if it helps you out. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.